physiological part. Flint napping. Uh, I guess it's this way. hoping there was a museum that we could go in and look around at some artifacts some outer city artifacts West Alabama birding trail Adults, eight, senior, seven, children, students, six. That's discrimination, but I'm going. I'm gonna plead adult. I'm gonna stop right here. Please park behind building and enter lobby admission. Okay. So we're gonna go over here and park and go in. I'm wiping your face off. Hold on. Let's figure out where to go in. Right here? No, maybe in the front. That, that sign said employees only. How do you get in this compound? I guess I could have asked directions. I don't know how you get in here. Oh, you use the door. Right here. Okay, here we are. You pay at the museum. That's what I want to see is a museum. There was a uh, film that you could watch, but uh, Y'all know me, I have a hard time sitting down. So it's 15 minutes long. She said, I'm gonna get you started on your film. And I felt bad, but I, I just asked her if I had to watch the film. She, she laughed and said, no. So I'm not watching the film. But she gave me, ooh, I gotta put this thing on my dash. I forgot about that, but I can't see with that on my dash, and it doesn't hang on my mirror, so I'll put it right there. So she gave me that right there with all kind of information on the map, on the map. So the thing in front of us. I don't have my glasses on. I'm making a spectacle of myself. The one in front of it is Mound B. That is Chieftain's Mound. I guess we'll go. Uh, yeah, let's go. I've never been here. Even though this is not too far from the base camp or the mothership, depending on what's going on. And I've always wanted to come. I learned about Moundville 
by listening to James Spann talk about where the tornadoes are going. And that's what I learned when I was growing up about a lot of towns and cities in Alabama because I thought, man, this joker knows everything. I didn't realize he was sitting there looking at a map. But I'm sure he knows it all now. I don't know. Let's go this way. There it is. Okay. If you want to catch all these words. I want to see Mississippi and Indian social support. You are here. You're not, but I am. So let's go up there. One, two. The mountain you in front of you probably once serves as a platform for the principal chief's house. Mound B, the site's largest mound. 60 feet tall, 111,700 cubic yards of dirt, covers almost two acres. I wonder whose job it is to weed eat around it. Okay, before we go up, let's read this sign. How to be a horrible tour guide. How you're a train. Huh. Gotta have a train. Now all we need is a golf ball at the top of the mound. Whole vessel found with acorns bundled inside. And that'd be cool. Before you is Mound V. Broad lower rectangular platforms. That train is really close. Just came around. University of Alabama Archaeological Field School began excavating one such patch of debris. Let's go! What are you talking about it for? Let's just go up here, you want to? I wonder if they just like walked up the side. You want to count the steps? Yeah, I do too. I, I want to make you count them, but I'm going to count them. See if you can get a count. Hang on. Do it like that. Are you counting? Let's go. Mound V. Downtown. Politics and power. It's pretty neat, isn't it? I guess this does have to be weed eaten up here. Nineteen thirty nine. When that survey marker was put in there, Mound B. I see the train. See it? You can 
me if I get my finger out of the way, huh? It's like some of the nails. There's a step right there. Do not look up at that and walk down those. I almost had an issue. So this is Mound B. I have to admit this joke is pretty impressive. And I cannot figure out how. Okay, there we go. There's where the tractor comes up. To cut the grass. I cannot figure out how they made this thing so high. Oh man, I know they piled the dirt up. Come on. Let's go to another spot. Way exhibits. Let's go check it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I just saw a bird. I'm an official birder. Bur I'm birding. I believe that is the museum. But down here on the right is a. You're not supposed to uh, drive and read. But I do. Not do that. Okay, we're going to skip the mound on the right. Let's go to the museum. That's what I want to go to. After I get this hat off my head, because it's like a heater on my head. There's a bridge. Chieftain's Mound's back that way. You can't go that way. Museum Campground is straight. And back to the right is a walking trail. We will walk the trail in a minute. Museum Campground, Conference Center. Blah, blah, blah. We'll go down there in a minute. I want to go to the museum. museum wandering so I can just kind of freelance around in it there it is I don't know okay we'll put our wagon right here I got my wallet Jones Archaeological Museum Second largest Native American ceremonial center of the Mississippi period. The big bowl my son found was Mississippian. Look, Jilly. This place is really nice, and that sure did look like a bunch of people standing over there. We'll go over there in a minute. I need some more light. The rulers of the mound. It's the eyes. When the eyes look real, it all looks real, don't it? That's really neat. That's really, 
messing up the view. Monolithic axe. Surrounded by four copper axes. It's so quiet in here. I don't know if I'm allowed to really talk. Spaghetti style, something to shell, Gorget shell. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but there's a uh, there's a place further up north in Alabama called Nakalula Falls, and uh, they're doing a a live play or a rendition of how it how Nakalula they're playing out Nakalula's story with Native Americans playing the parts. Long story, story, long story short of the Nakalula saga is, I think her dad wanted her to marry somebody and she didn't want to marry him. She, wanted, she was in love with somebody else. So she committed suicide. Not the answer yet a historical event in that area, but not the answer. Pass that on. So I'm kind of torn whether the event should be kind of romanticized or not. I went there once or twice when I was small. And it's a beautiful place. And there's a big statue of her kind of leaning and leaping over the falls. Look at that. Makes me want to start working out. That is beautiful, isn't it? Look at the copper. There's some of it in its original form and then melted into a wad and some quartz. Turkey feathers. I imagine they were in superb shape if they piled all the dirt up. I need to find the Here we go, the procession splendor at ancient Moundville. Mm -hmm. 
example of an elite marriage at once. Yeah, this is the big picture. Where are they now? under repair. That's it. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? And the gift shop. Thanks for watching my videos. I'm not done after all. I bought Geronimo and my oldest squirrel some handmade Navajo dolls. It's pretty neat. Oh, look at the turtles. They're waiting for treats. I don't have anything. Let's go up here and check out this mound first. These are pretty neat. $9.99 piece. Not much. Can I count the steps? I know you don't. You can't see Mound B from right here. It is around the corner. This is really nice.
Okay, now I'm done. Thanks for watching my videos.